all right guys so today i was planning on finally finishing the truck um hello so before i was really interrupted um like i said i want to paint i want to finish the truck today and i'm hoping that it stops raining one more thing that i don't want to mention i'm having stomach problems so the faster i finish this um i think the better um so i was planning on taking me uh to the park but it looks like it kind of stopped raining so i'm gonna have to drive all the way over there and uh hope that i get this done today now one other thing is that i have no uh i have no idea how to do this or what to expect um i have no idea how to how i'm gonna embroider the the little symbols in the back of the vehicle so i'm still thinking about that uh hopefully i come up with something but either than that i'll see you guys there all right guys so there's been a change of plan so since it keeps raining and stopping and then raining i decided to go to the junkyard to pick out some parts that i actually need for the truck um not not big old uh things but like the small things um just to make my truck i, I guess a bit better looking um so i i don't know if they're gonna let me take all of this and record but i am gonna take the phone and record um, I got the list of the things that I need um, and I'm gonna hope that they actually have the things I need um, I did call and they said that they had a truck like mine in stock um, so let's hope that I find it and I find the things I actually need so <laughs> So they actually do have Nissan Muranos, and they have a lot. Okay, so I found two. This one back here, and that one. Um, just right off the bat, I can actually, um, I could actually see the things that I actually need. So I'm gonna take those real quick. So, so far I've been able to find the things that I actually need. I still got a few things to collect. Um, it is taking me a little while, um, but I think I just found what I needed. Finally got out of the junkyard and um, since I'm not going back, I already um, put everything back, the tripod, microphone, whatever, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, I pretty much I got the majority of the things I needed um, which is a good thing but uh, um, the only thing that I literally had to pay was the entry fee um, which is I guess a good thing in a way <laughs> um, but there was some things that I didn't get like my engine cover or um, the clips for the trunk I didn't get the clips for the trunk but you know I'm happy with the things that I got um, so yeah I mean I'm gonna show you guys what I got with starting off with something simple so I got these clips and the screw and I also got those clips um, I think there's missing like probably like three or two of these and and those but that's why your old pal went over there and first I'm gonna get started with that uh, so where are the little clips so here's the, the little screws hello okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is gonna screw the little nut and then put the little clip on And then we're gonna put the circular clips. And another thing that I was missing in my truck was this. Um, I wanted this so bad because my truck looked weird without it. Um, but now that I have it, uh, I'm gonna place it. I'm gonna show you guys what, what I'm talking about. 
so that's what I'm talking about so that goes in there and that's it come to the back and do the same thing all right so what's next is that in the truck I was missing this clip for the trunk um, and this is to keep the net from falling um, where I have my soccer balls and stuff like that I have that attached to something um, and it keeps falling off and it's hard to take it off and stuff stuff like that so to make my life easier I decided to just get the clip so I'm gonna put that right now and the thing that I'm talking about is this I have it attached to this which it gets it makes it hard to pull out and stuff like that so finally gonna fix it I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see it but I'm just gonna show you guys when I'm done there so that's gonna be easier to, for me to get my balls and stuff like that so not a big improvement but something well worth it all right so now we're getting to the hard parts I got the all-wheel drive lock button because as you guys can see I hope you guys can see it doesn't work anymore so I so that had to be replaced and another thing is the, whatever this is called I, I always forget what this is called but um, it just it just falls down it doesn't stay up so that needs to be replaced as well um, but either than that I think I'm gonna be done uh, I'm gonna try to show you guys how to do it I guess okay so the first thing that we gotta do and I think is the hard part is getting this off and I need my knife for that now this gets complicated because the seat warmers and all of that are in the way the truck that I took it off from the truck that I took this from uh, didn't have the seat warmers there's this little clip right here there we go okay get that out the way so now we're gonna get um, this clip here that little uh, poke this and ho hopefully I don't get cut or destroy the wires we go there we go now we put the new one putting it upside down so we just pop this back boy and hoping that that stays I really hope I solved the problem or I think I just broke it again there we go a little elbow grease and there it is so I wonder why this button never worked or what was the difference or honestly what the hell was its purpose and another thing since we're already here so I'm down a little this shift lock I'm hoping this works man so I've been looking for a shift lock clip for a really long time Instead of the guys actually having a shift lock or the people that I bought the truck from they had This the thing that goes into a pen And supposedly this is the shift lock thing so I'm hoping That it works for me There I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it a pass so what that does is it prevents this from moving And hope it works it doesn't work see this is what I'm talking about that shift lock is for this but for some reason it just doesn't work for my truck I don't know why so I'm taking that L Yes. 
Alright guys, so time to take this off. This is gonna be probably our last product. From what I learned is, well, first thing I need to do is take out my LED light. So now the next thing to do is it has this little clip right here, which was a bitch to get out. But once it's out, it's out. There it goes. That's the clip I'm talking about. Then it has just these two screws that you gotta unscrew. So once you do that, you slowly pull it out. And once you do, it comes out with a wire. And you just unscrew that, unloosen that. Okay, so now we're just gonna pop the clips back in the, where the electricity goes. And then we just pop this bad boy back in. And then we just... We put the screws back on. There. And even though it looks really fucking dirty, wow. This looks really bad. The moment of truth, hoping that the light turns back on. Oh, <gasps> doesn't turn back on. Why didn't it turn back on? Oh no, the light doesn't work. Right, this light. That one turns on, but why won't? Oh, I think I remembered. There we go. I didn't put them correctly. Ooh, that got. Oh, that scared me. That really did scare me. Come on. No, it's not letting me put it back on. Come on, buddy. What the fuck? There we go. Alright, guys. So, unfortunately, my vi this video did not go as planned. Um, I had to... I really wanted to make a video, so I, I ended up making this. Um, I know it... I think it probably sucked I, I can just feel it like without the editing part or looking actually at what I recorded or whatever I really feel like this video sucked you know I don't even know if I should post this but if I do I don't know man but I just wanted to say thank you for watching and I'm not even gonna ask for anything like I usually do and I'll see you guys in the next video peace